Yo, 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 what's going on? This is the NRW, where nerds rule the world. It's your boy, Kuya P, a.k.a. Patrick Michael Strange, and I'm back with the brand new NRW show. We've got rid of the video games because we are old-ass men. Shout out to the Checkpoints crew in Eldon and Brian Saf. They're killing it. Uh, so you can check out the, the NRW gaming playlist with the Checkpoints, with them talking about all the new releases. And so now here is film and TV with, of course, the guy that levels us up, the blur dad himself, Mr. Glenn Lawrence. What's good, Glenn? What's good? I got first billing this time. I'm so excited. <laughs> Last man in uh, is going to just be put up in the front. I, that's what we're doing today. Uh, and, of course, Damn. the guy who's so cool from You Are So Cool with Rob Medina is Rob Medina. Damn, I'm runner up today. I don't know how I feel about that. I still feel excited to be here, though. <laughs> <laughs> and, of course, my brother from Kuya and the Kid, my brother, Loy Lee from Loy Lee Comedy. What's good, Loy? Hola, mi amigos. Como estas? <laughs> <laughs> How y'all living today, man? How y'all been? Well, what y'all been up to uh, before we get down with the new releases? Uh, actually, really, now, now that we're focused on TV and films and streaming, you know, because uh, we are film heads, what are you watching right now? Let's kick it off with that. Uh, let me go back to you, Glenn. Ooh. What are you watching right Ooh. now? What are, you, uh, what are you tapping in each week and every week? Actually, I just started binging Ozarks. Woo. Like I went, I did a, I did a, uh, basically a, a recap. <laughs> what is it called? A recap so yeah. that, uh, I could catch up on season four. Cause season four just dropped, I think, uh, like fr- last Friday or something like that. So I was catching up on Ozarks. I'm currently binging. I'm on, I'm, I'm at the end of season two, moving into season three. So I could get caught up for season four so that I don't have to worry about spoilers, um, <laughs> which are already starting to kind of trickle out uh, little by little. So uh, I was watching that and I was also watching a lot of number blocks. I don't know if you have a kid, but uh, number blocks, it's a it's a it's a it's a show talking about numbers. Uh, It goes one, two, three, four, five number blocks. One, two, three or five. six. I forgot my numbers in that exact. I need a I need a refresher as well as the kid. So number blocks. One does, and how, another one is two and another two is three. That's who's enjoying eight. the show more, you or your son? <laughs> I, I like I like the <laughs> ain't nothing wrong with that, brother. Back back in my day when my little one was young, it was all about Yo Gabba Gabba. And oh, I probably was oh more God, into Yo was Gabba Gabba than my daughter was. Yeah. We actually took her to the concert when they went on tour and shit. Oh, it, wow. it was the bomb. Okay. I'm telling yeah, you. Okay. Anyway, I bet. so Ozarks with Glenn and number blocks. What about you, Rob Medina? What's cool in your house right now? Uh, so I actually just got this new movie that I ordered on Blu-ray not too long ago. It's a movie. It's a little horror indie film called Knuckle Bones. And I was recommended that movie by Todd Jenkins, who I had on my show. You're so cool. Rob Medina last year. He said I should check it out because I love his film, Cherokee Creek. And it was a film that he was in called Knuckle Bones. So I checked it out. I liked it. I know it's not going to be for everybody. Um, so I was watching the unrated cut, which is what I ordered. And then I came across it on Tubi just to see what, what the major differences were. Um, yeah, that was about it. And uh, then I also came across a movie that I have not seen in quite some time that I forgot how much I love, which was Heat, the the definitive version. That movie is That's a classic. Awesome because they announced the sequel, which apparently is even the works right now. So I was all for it. So I'm not sure how I feel about the sequel, to be completely honest with you, but I've, I love that movie so much. As I think it's back in my top 10 of all time. That movie is so fantastic. Mm. Got you. So are you more of a movie? You you more so watch films than like TV? Are you not a TV streamer? I am. I am a TV streamer, but I do watch more films than I do TV shows, quite frankly. OK. Yeah. Got it. Got it. All right, Lloyd, what about you? What are you checking out on the weekly? What, what are your must dial in, must see TV or must watch films I right just, now? I just started Ozarks season four because that just came out. So I just started binge watching that. Uh, spoiler alert. Oh. No, no, <laughs> I'll have to log off, Lloyd. <laughs> I literally exactly. am trying to avoid all exactly. spoilers. You're uh, gonna throw his headphones at me. Fuck this shit. Uh, Do you want me to it? take off uh, my headphones so you could say it and I don't hear no, it? No, 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 no. Sure? It's, it's, it's great. Uh, <laughs> Yellowstone. I I've been oh. watching a lot of Yellowstone and that uh, 1883, right? As and well, then, yeah, in 1883, that is live um they're still going season one i think they're episode five there's going to be 10 episodes so tyler sheridan makes amazing dialogue driven uh movies or, or or projects excuse me sicario was one of them um what i like about 1883 is as a kid we used to play oregon trail and it was mm. just like you'd be going along and i was like oh you died of dysentery and you didn't really like they didn't expound upon it 
But in 1883, they show like how hard and how difficult that Oregon Trail is. Yeah. And um, you go, oh, this is how you got dysentery. Like I never understood as a kid. How does one get dysentery? <laughs> and why would you die from it? It doesn't make sense. Yeah. And this they... sounds very painful. I know, right? <laughs> very. So, so it's really good. That's what you're saying. It's really, really good. It kind of gives you a nuanced look at like the West. And mm-hmm. I mean, we see Westerns, but we, I don't know. It just gives you like this nuanced day to day life so thing. That perspective. Yeah, that I love. Yeah. And, and if you guys know me well enough, it's like, I want to know something more. Like, tell me yeah. a story. And they do that really well, but show me like a nuance to this thing. And they do that in, in spades. Cool. I caught a little bit of episode get- one over the holidays. Um, I still got to check it out. And back to Mayor of Kingstown, too, that you and I were checking out, too, Lloyd. I don't know if you've been keeping up. I've, I kind of fell off that. I got to get back on it. I, I fell off um, only because uh, it wasn't on the required things to watch because we just hadn't done anything in a while. Yeah. But uh, it's it's on the list. It's on the list. All right. Things. We'll get back on track with that. I'm sorry, Glenn, though. You were you were about to say. No, something I was just going to ask if you guys have both, since you're watching Yellowstone, gotten your cowboy hats yet. <laughs> Actually. I got one from when my wife actually did a, a thing with Stetson. So I actually nice. have one of those expensive ass hats. Yeah. Those Not are really? those yeah, are a pretty yeah. penny. Those like start at like yeah. 500 700 dollars Are they There's comfortable when you put them on? Five, you know what? I, I put it on when she first gave it to me, but other than that, I'm not uh, that's not my look. So I just kind of wore it at that moment and now it's in the closet. I'd have to find it. What size Damn. head you wear? What size head you have? <laughs> so I says you <laughs> yeah my bad <laughs> no offhand he takes them off and puts a new one yeah, on. yeah, yeah, it's been a minute since I bought a fitted hat too uh, yeah, seven, I want to say seven, eight eight is it like an eight and three quarters or some shit I, you that know, is I a humongous you know, head I, I don't you know, really I don't know. but I am and on like we, the third please, this, please so request. I do kind of have a big ass head damn you do have a big head can we please request what for you to wear the cowboy hat for one episode oh yeah I would love to see that we got to do it Either that or I'm buying it off you. One or the other. If it's like we'll I'm trying to buy one. shit off of you at this point. <laughs> you know what? Hey, yeah. I, I don't think my wife would mind that, Lloyd. Because <laughs> yeah, the thing is, I like also have the cowboys on too, the cowboy boots on too. While you're, but I wear ones for Glenn. I guess I gotta find it first. I uh, I was gonna buy one. I got my wife watching it. My little my wife watched all five seasons in like three. Oh, days. Are you gonna be like, Mark Wahlberg from the last clip? Or are you gonna get the whole gear and, and get one attack? I was gonna buy a Stetson hat, and then we found out like they basically, if you were to go buy one, it's like a thousand dollars, like crazy minimum. Yeah. They're not cheap. No, I was no. like, I don't need it that badly. But <laughs> Kui P, if you got a seven and three ace. Uh, we'll see. I'll take a look. Eights, I'll damn. take a look. <laughs> anyway, uh, that reminds me. Uh, so beyond just what are wa- we watching, what we would you Rob, say Rob's, Rob's recently say before his. we get into the new releases? Was that say his? Rob's got to Rob? say his. He, no, he already Rob, did. Yeah, yeah already did. watching oh, films damn. more so than TV. My bad. You should have been paying attention. I was. I just missed it. Just so before we get into the new releases, I want to also. I had one other question. Is uh, what is the most recent movie that you would recommend and or if not recommend stay away from? Uh, let me go back to you, Glenn. Mm, uh, well, I just saw Spider-Man. So that was pretty amazing. Um, I just watched something recently that was on. Ah, uh, I watched it with Stephanie. Uh, come back because there's there's a movie that we just watched. that we're like, wow, that was actually really, really good. And it was an old school one. Hold on. All right. Let me go to Rob then. What's good, Rob? I just saw Spider-Man No Way Home again uh, for the second time this past weekend with my wife, which was watching for the first time, and two of our friends uh, out here, too. And my wife really liked it. Uh, the other two guys, they did enjoy it. One thought it was it was good, but not as good as I guess she anticipated it for it to be. I still enjoyed the film. I think it's a great movie. So I would I would go out and tell anybody who wh- wh- whatever 10 people have not seen in this world to watch the movie. Yeah, let's really go. Let's it. flip it to something else. Give me something else then, because I think it's universally uh, loved. Okay. Uh, yes. Another recent film that I saw. Like a that new you film? absolutely love or you absolutely would recommend staying away from. Oh, OK. Well, I, I, since I brought up Heat, uh, that's a movie I hadn't seen in quite some time. Oh, I yeah, saw that you. again. And yeah, that's uh, right. you're on the film tip. So you're so that fun. movie, if you yeah. want to see some good armed robbery film with great characters and have a lot of suspense, a lot of like anticipation, that is the film to watch. Al Pacino and, and Robert De Niro are at their peak together at that film. And that and I adore that. movie. I forgot how much I love that film. So, yeah, I'm off a, a heat high right now. So right. I recommend that movie. 
Glenn, do you have enough time? I see you <laughs> laughing. So you must know. I was like, I was like, Stephanie, what was that movie we just watched on Hulu? And she said, I don't know. I was like, come on, help me out. What was it like? Look at our recently watched. What was it? She's like, your son just shit on the bed. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, I, I'll, I'll, I'll tag in real one. quick. Go ahead. I'll, I'll tag in. Um, so this is two parts. I'm going to tell you the one that I recommend and the one that I actually don't recommend. And the one that I recommend is Ben Affleck's The Accountant. Oh, the accountants. I, I thought you were getting ready to say the tender bar, his newest film. Go ahead. I haven't gotten that that far. Yeah. Tell uh, me about accountant. The, the accountant is that he is an accountant with autism and he's also a hitman. Mm. Sounds sounds horrific on paper, but it's actually really, 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 really good. Okay. Johnny Bernthal's in the movie too. Yes, he is. And that is uh it's a great great movie it's like it's kind of far-fetched but they do it in a way that just seems very to grounded work. yeah yeah very grounded um i don't think he plays autistic well but it, he played it well enough to where it wasn't like jarring but overall i i recommend if you're like oh let me go see an action movie like let me go see like a john wick or something that's not john wick the accountant okay okay yeah. and then uh the one that i don't recommend is um, Ben Affleck's The Daredevil. <laughs> mm. Oh, man. <laughs> there it is. That. Which one, the theatrical cut or the director's cut? Uh, any cut. Any <laughs> cut. Any cut it out. Cut it out. <laughs> uh, that's funny. All right. If you're circling back, I figured it out. I remember. All right. Go ahead, Glenn. Ronnie Chang has a movie out. Uh, he's not the main character. He's a, he's a side character, but he's very good in it. And the movie is called Long Story Short. It was on... Hulu, I really enjoyed it. Uh, Rafe Spall and uh, Zara Newman are like the stars of okay. the movie, directed by uh, Josh Lawson. But it was a very cute like rom com, and it just it goes to show you like you know how to keep uh, a marriage fresh and and all those type of things. So I thought it was interesting, interesting concept, uh, and I had real a lot of fun with it. Uh, I figured that out on my own. I remembered it myself. Uh, <laughs> what is it called? Long story short, I'm intrigued. Long story short, yeah. I don't see it on on Hulu. Um, I think it's not on Hulu. Are you sure? (laughs) Oh no! To make a long story short, I looked. No, (laughs) maybe it's on Amazon um, Prime. Yeah, I think it. uh, With Netflix, it's on Netflix. It's on Netflix. It's It's on on Netflix. Netflix. Is it a Netflix version of Hulu? Which is like Hulu but red. No, yeah, it's the the other (laughs) totally different streaming service. All right. Uh, so yeah. yeah, long story short. Got it. Okay, I'm intrigued. Yeah, we'll have to it check good. that out. It was, it was All fun. Right, I, I enjoyed it. Appreciate the insights. I like hearing what y'all are checking out. And uh, yeah, man, good, good to know. Good to know. Some recommendations here and there. All right. So y'all ready to talk about the new shit dropping uh, that you I, may I, I or may want to check out in the future? I would request not talking about shit right now since uh, we just watched the comforters. <laughs> you know what? That's it kind of sneaked in there like it kind of sneaked in on your wife a second ago. You, you <laughs> snuck in some shit in there. Yeah. So I just uh, don't know what I'm going to walk into when I go into this. <laughs> I feel so bad for you, brother. All right. Y'all, y'all ready to talk about the new movies dropping? Let's do this. All right, guys. Coming out this week, uh, we have Brazen uh, with Alyssa Milano. It's uh, on Netflix as well as Sam Page and uh, Colleen Wheeler. We'll actually be checking out the trailer in just a bit for that. So Brazen is on Netflix. On video on demand and digital is Birds Like Us, uh, featuring the voices of Jeremy Irons and Alicia Vikander. Uh, we also have on video on demand and digital Two Deaths of Henry Baker with Tony Karan and Felipe Mucci. We have Compartment Number 6 with Sadie Harla and Juho Kusmanen. Uh, that's in limited release. We also have only in New York. So if you're uh, lucky and living in New York, we have the short bus because obviously uh, we are not on the right bus and we can't catch it because it's only in New York. Um, The fallout is on HBO Max with Shailene Woodley and Christina Lundholm. Uh, We'll actually be checking out the trailer for that very soon. Uh, Also in limited release, we have A Taste of Hunger with Charlie Gustafson and Christoph Bowe. Uh, We also have Brighton Fourth in limited release. And Clean with uh, Adrian Brody. Well, I should be checking out the trailer shortly for Clean as well. Also in limited release, we have Serrano with Peter Dinklage and Brian Tyree Henry. Uh, Continuing limited release, we have Rifkin's Festival 
uh, from Woody Allen and also in limited release Sundown with Tim Roth and Henry Goodman. And coming to Disney Plus is the Ice Age Venture, uh, the Ice Age Adventures of Buck Wild. Uh, that's coming on Disney Plus with Simon Pegg. That's the actual title, Buck Wild, in there. Yes. Right. Um, there we go, and we'll Buck actually Wild. be checking out the trailer for that. Uh, we also have the Requin. Uh, that's in limited release with limited release with Alicia Silverstone. I can't talk today, y'all, but I'm almost done. It's the last one. Mm-hmm. We yeah, have They, well. Them, and Us. Uh, that is the title, y'all. They, them, and us. That's a limited release. It's a comedy with John Sherman and Amy Hargreaves. There you go. Those are the releases. Y'all ready to check out these trailers? Yeah, let's do this. All right, here we go. I'm getting it all set up. Let's go. First up, Brazen coming to Netflix. She didn't expect to die that night. She had no enemies that she knew of. Her life was pretty unremarkable. And then it hit her. What if she had a secret life? For some, the secret is a lot darker and a lot more dangerous. Wow, this got weird. Ah. Oh, I actually did see this Cass? scene uh, on Netflix in front of the movie. Kathleen! Oh, oh my god. No, no. Don't touch the body. Don't ah, touch man, the don't body. Call Peter. Oh, it's based on a book series. Okay. Did you know about your sister's clients? What are you talking about? She was a teacher. She connected to clients via webcam. Nice. I know this is not one of my books, but I want to help on the case. This is personal. She plays her sister, though. Her character, Desiree, was becoming very popular. And who knows the identity of your performer? Just me, my mother, and my brother. It's a family business. Have you spoken to her ex Yeah, that's uh, that's who you think it is. His alibi is solid. He's definitely hiding something. Kathleen was such a gifted teacher. We're absolutely. I don't know. Does, does this seem, seem intriguing? I'm speaking up if you know anything. Yeah, I feel like I've seen it before. Yeah. That it seems like a, a really like high caliber Reds, lifetime movie. Rain in your yeah. overactive imagination. Definite lifetime. Or I will do it for yeah. you. It's Alyssa Milano, so you guys shut your mouths. We got ourselves a serial killer. I just want half Everybody has to secrets. Like, right? Damn, she's, in a she's not scene? dead. All right. Sexy. There you go. Yeah, I'm very intrigued. Yeah, I'm actually interested in this one. Oddly I mean, enough. It's Alyssa Milano. I'll watch it. Son of a bitch. <laughs> yeah. I did All have right. a crush on her growing up. As Coming to Netflix, uh, I think it's a as plus a yes. thumbs up from everybody uh, on that. I'm yes, just here for a Alyssa thumbs Milano. up, but for all the wrong reasons. Right. <laughs> <laughs> like yeah. yes you get my thumbs yeah. up but that has nothing to do <laughs> with the trailer yeah it's like an instagram model <laughs> all right y'all ready to check out this next one let's yeah go. let's go for it all right it's the fallout y'all here the we go fallout megan park this is coming to hbo max y'all Damn, they got metal detectors there. Oh, it's John Ortiz. Oh, shit. You keep falling. And I'll sing while you sleep. You know, I'm actually intrigued with the fact there's no dialogue. Yeah. Hopefully, the whole movie's like that. <laughs> you don't even need to wear makeup. Oh, you just spoke too soon. Uh, I just said you don't even need to wear makeup. It was a very interesting premise at the jump off. I... Oh shit! Ooh, mm, what was interesting. That? I'm I'm really intrigued. Oh, I, do, I like here. the style was, of this trailer. Yeah, I thought there was going to be something else. Like when that tap happened, I'm like, oh, what? Like, Same, here, yeah. Here's what we're I'm really curious. Begin. Yeah, I'm it's very provoking. curious about that. Mm-hmm. It's mm. very artistic. It makes me, you know, obviously young kids' stories. I, yeah. Me having a daughter that's very, you know, with their emotions right now. Woo. Woo. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I, I like the fact that the trailer has some artistic value to it. Yes. Yeah. Doesn't reveal Which, to virtually anything at all other than enough. Yeah. Yep. Very yeah. rare to get that done right. I think this trailer did it pretty good. Only because we're so used to the the wham, bam, you know, mm-hmm. this summer. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Uh, 
Glenn, you're muted. <laughs> yeah, you're mute. <laughs> Did you mute me? No one muted no. you. You muted yourself, no muted brother. You. you just unmuted yourself. We didn't mute you, sir. <laughs> this I guy. Did. He's a. Tr- I didn't do anything. I was just talking normally. <laughs> it, nothing changed. So, uh, what did you think of that, Glenn? I loved it. I thought it was. Uh, I thought it was great. Very intriguing. Um, yeah. You know, I'm a big fan of teen angst. I had a lot of angst when I was a teen. So, seeing these like films about people in high school and dealing with them, like, oh, that's what they're dealing with. Yeah. You know? No. Like, I, 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 I'm scared to, yeah, like, I want to see it because to, to understand, you know, this current generation. Yeah. But it's also yeah. nerve wracking because I have a teenager in that range. So, like, Euphoria so with Zendaya right now. Yeah. Uh, Zendaya, excuse me. Yeah. But, like, they have a new season of Euphoria and everybody's talking mm-hmm. about it. And it's good, but we all know it's about drugs and kids and, like, ugh. So, a little close mm-hmm. to home. <laughs> when you watch it, do you, like, uh, make talking points so that you can bring them up to your little one? Like, when hey, I'm watching anything that has on? that kind of material, yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yeah. You're like, hey, are you dealing with this? <laughs> you probably sound like, I feel like as parents, we sound like old fuddy duddies when we're like, <laughs> I-, I noticed that the kids are doing a lot of the, a lot of the, you know, the uppers. And the, you're like, you, you know what's funny? I've never actually seen a, a movie with my son that kind of deals with those subjects. I, I always watch like more adult theme movies. Like I was watching, uh, what was it? I was watching like the Godfather with him and mm-hmm. I was explaining the whole like theme of the movie and what it was and what family was and all that stuff. I had those conversations with him, but never about like high school drama or anything of that sort as far as films are concerned. So it's kind of weird mm-hmm. that I've never had those conversations with him about those several movies. You got to know <laughs> the difference is right and wrong, man. Yeah. Oh, no, I know that I'm aware, but you know, that's wrong. You can't kill the guy just because he didn't pay you back or like that. That's I've had those conversations with him. But nothing about Good. like <laughs> just, just like, giving further explanations. <laughs> are you talking to him like, see, if we were a crime family, you got to realize that loyalty. No, I would just ask his opinion. Like, what do you think about <laughs> what he just did right there? I, I, always, I always ask him what he thinks, and then he'll tell me. And if and if he's confused, he'll ask me what I think. So nothing. Mm. Like, nothing that sounds crazy. good. You're keeping it clean. So uh, mm. let's move on to the next trailer with clean. Here we go. <laughs> this segue is amazing. There used to be families in every house on oh. this street. You could hear the kids laughing all Adrian the time. Adrian Brody. I like him. He's a good actor. Oh, oh he looks yeah. cold. He looks tough. Grandma's out. I left my key inside. You hungry? You know, we don't need anyone to save us. I'm just trying to save myself. Mm. Oh, he's yeah, producing. Yeah, okay. I love yeah. him. answers. I just don't know the questions anymore. I've got blood on my hands. No matter how hard I try, I can't wash away the past. Sorry about the smell. I'm used to it. For your trouble. I'm good. Most guys I sponsor, they got a hard time doing work. But you, you got a different sort of malady. Yeah, it ain't the work. It's the letting go. Oh, the dude's the barber. He was a uh, bubba and you Forrest Gump. Mm. You find a way to make peace with it. Or it makes war with you. Uh-uh. What's up? We close. I'm gonna have to open you up. What? Oh, oh damn. damn. God has a plan. We can never go home. Kill the girl and the old lady. Make it messy. I'm gonna make it right. Home protection. Hunter. There was a. Oh, oh and he got the body. Oh, man. It wasn't always a trash man. I don't know where you go. You catch me. You sent me to kill the Grim Reaper. You said find a way to make peace. Oh. How'd you get this number? Same way I got your address. <laughs> Boom. All right. Shit. I'm actually interested in this one. I love it. That's he a, also wrote the movie, too. That's, that's cool. A definite film for me. Yeah, same I here. I mean, it seems very formulaic, but uh, I'm there yeah. for that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Very formulaic, but I'm I'm here for it because Brody's a beast, man. You know, we yeah. ain't seen him in a minute. He's producing it and all the ca- yeah. I'm in for that shit. Yeah, I I loved him in Predators. I thought he was great in that. I I, th- I think that's an underrated film. In my I think opinion. that's my mm. favorite Predator installment. And 
he was in Boardwalk Empire and he blew my mind in Boardwalk Empire. I've yet to like, see that show. He was like a last, like maybe season five or something like that. He was mm-hmm. just maybe one season character, but fucking killed it. So the, they're like staple actors. Like when you see them in a film, you know what I mean? Like they yeah. haven't really gotten uh, top billing all the time, you know, like Tom Hanks or something or Will yeah. Smith. But like there are these other actors when you see them, like, you know, it's going to be a good role and that they're going to kill it in whatever they're doing. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, and he's one of those dudes. It's like when you see when you see the name, it like elicits respect. He does great work. Uh, okay. And I, I can't wait to see this. I, you know, it looks very gritty, you know, very yeah. real. And his yeah. his face is not a Hollywood face. Like, yeah. you know, you could like he's not the the cu- cookie cutter, good, c- clean looking guy. Yeah. Uh, and he's made a career that just is hopeful. Makes makes you smile. Are you saying it gives us hope for ugly guys? <laughs> for you? Yes, absolutely. For, yeah. for non-conventional faces like yes. me? Yeah, absolutely. Non-conventional face. That's what I got a lot on Tinder. That's actually my profile that I have. Non-conventional, non-conventional face. <laughs> <laughs> that, aka glenn that, lawrence <laughs> aka glove level up comedy <laughs> that's that's what i search for <laughs> are you looking for, for unconventional not- faces swipe me <laughs> <laughs> see, I, you know what my next porn hub search that's what i'm gonna put in non-conventional faces and see what comes up wow my wow. guy non-conventional facials might pop <laughs> Dude, that would be amazing if they're no, like shooting no. them off like the side walls and stuff or whatever. <laughs> it's like I'm gonna hit it off the ceiling fan and spin around, get you in the left oh, nostril. Funny. <laughs> Can you pee? Not I, 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 I don't know what to I, say I, to that, man. Oh, that's so good. That was hilarious. <laughs> Don't so take sorry. this one oh back God. to your kid. That's like, so have you heard funny. of a non-conventional facial? <laughs> that should be a, a new category right now. <laughs> Don't ask your son, Rob. <laughs> hey, have you ever heard of this non-conventional facial? Are you guys doing that in school? <laughs> Dude, perfect. Oh, <laughs> uh, so funny. I have tears right, coming let's, out. Let's keep sorry. it moving. Let's shine up off of that. I think we're all in for clean. Yeah, let's clean it off our faces. Glenn said, was it clean? Let's keep it moving. All Loy right. said it. Loy said the <laughs> okay. <laughs> the Rec- Let's check this out. Hmm. What's this one called? The Requin? The Requin? Dream? The Requin. The Requin. Ooh, Saban it's the Bond films, films man. Damn. Every time. Is that Alicia? Oh, it's Alicia Silverstone. Silverstone. Amazing. So you guys far. weren't listening to anything. That, never mind. Nothing. Which is exactly. No one pays attention to Loy. I'm sorry. What? what no one pays attention to Loy. Above the water. Is that safe? Who's talking? Sorry, what? <laughs> Hope, I guess. Yo, she's made an amazing career for somebody with no top lip. Damn. No top lip, top villain. Alicia <laughs> Topless Lip Silverstone. Oh my god. Damn, they survived that? Oh, what? What the fuck? We could be anywhere. What are we going to do? We need to focus on surviving. How long can we last in all this? They'll come for us. Start a fire. Uh... What was that? What? I just saw something. Oh, Jesus no. Christ. <laughs> it's a shark. I am terrified right now. Oh, it's two sharks. Listen to me. We're not going to die. Mm. Uh, nice interesting okay Loy, I'm, I'm looking at your reaction right now uh, hey hey rob you want to watch love ledge left three <laughs> <laughs> i'd rather watch that are you serious that, that 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 movie that we the trailer we just watched yeah. no there's nothing about it that makes me want to this is horrible hey what hey let's start a bonfire <laughs> on a wooden hut in the middle of the ocean, how bad could this be? I'm sure uh, they, you know, thought it through. Probably it through. It's like the, it's it, like just like the kids who thought it through about opening up the cage with a tiger and then letting it out for the other kids to play with. Yeah, there, there's just a level of common sense that I that that if it is not met, it throws me out of like the storytelling. I, I can't do it. I can't. I'm sure it. if we if you were to watch the movie in context, it would probably make more sense as it leads up to that. I'm, I'm, I'm assuming it's one of those things where they made where they were desperate and they were they were looking to capture someone's attention. And this is the last draw. 
that they the last thing that he said was best. Are to you do. sticking up for a movie you haven't even seen yet? <laughs> I'm just giving him the benefit of the doubt. Yeah. You, know. you are uh, too kind, sir. <laughs> I I would want to watch it if I knew what the definition of the title was. Like I don't know what that <laughs> word means. So I'm like, I don't I, don't, I think it's I think it's pronounced the reckon, which the reckon. is confusing as far as what it actually means, if it yeah. has any sort of like meaning behind it. Uh, yeah. So if I have to Google what the title means, then I'm probably like, eh. Uh, I'm not deterred with that. That's what about it's you, a shark. How you feel? It's a shark. Oh, is it? Just call it a shark. French. What are you Apparently, to... it's called. It's Requin is really? French for not burning, shark. burning was... your beach house in the middle of the ocean while sharks are around. That's it's like, and we're so desperate. Let's make it worse. <laughs> <laughs> we'll just call it something. You know what that's like? That's like when I don't know what to name something, and then I just start googling other like language words to see you look at the thesaurus you look at the thesaurus what's another name for this oh a shark could also be a reckon okay <laughs> i reckon that's a horrible idea <laughs> no, that's a southern joke should we burn you. this beach house in the middle of the ocean right now to get that plane's attention i reckon that's a good idea that's probably where <laughs> it came from hey you know what we are in the middle of nowhere floating on a straw hut we're desperate how desperate burn it down desperate <laughs> Yeah, I do you think do you think like the twist at the end of the movie is the shark is coming up to like bite him and then it looks at Alicia Silverstone and is like, oh, we have the same top lip, and then it's like, all right, <laughs> we'll just we'll just turn around and go the other way, like game recognized game or no lip recognized no lip. Do you think, Lloyd? I mean, she looks dead behind the eyes like a shark, so yeah, I can understand how that that's. So why do why are we being so mean to her? She just got back into acting. Bruh, like, we... Slander is real right now. I, I, you know, I, I, I would say that this hate is like ill, like ill aimed towards her. I don't know oh, why. So funny. I dislike her, but I would say my dislike for her is clueless. Wait, oh man, would you say that she has and that is a great face. transition. That is to so great. see something ice as cold as ice is Glenn's I... heart right now. <laughs> No, I just want to say, just for the record, I love Alicia Silverstone, and I'm upset that she's been gone so long. Maybe that is what it is. I'm just upset that you left, dear. I love you. In I, the 90s, the she was very fetch. Fetch, fetch. As if, Loy, as if. <laughs> All right. There we go. We're going to leave it right there. Uh, we're we're going to keep it moving with the Ice Age Adventures of Buck Wild, because y'all are Buck Wild. Coming to Disney+. Uh, Plus. Oh, it's so fucking funny. I have little tears oh. coming out of my eyes. All right, I literally thought you meant fuck me. At I was expecting to see Afro. Are, are these with the original cast members? Oh no! I'm not gonna kill Jack! Oh no! Crashing Eddie went back to the lost world! And I thought I made bad choices. <laughs> I think it is with the original cast member. Hello, boys! Buck Wild at your service. Our hero! What brings you two to my world? We want to live a life of adventure! Like you! It's a bad time for a tropical vacation. Everyone, we face a grave threat! Can you repeat that? I had a marshmallow in my ear. <laughs> <laughs> Crash and Eddie have been gone a while. Shouldn't we just be looking for bones at this point? Thanks, Sid. <laughs> this is our chance to prove ourselves. Boys, what you lack in intelligence? Destiny awaits! Oh, destiny hurts. You make up for him bumbling ineptitude. Hang on, Crash and Eddie! If we don't find them, I'm gonna kill them. Yeah! <laughs> there you go, y'all. Uh, that was a lot. I know, right? <laughs> Were you all Ice Age uh, fans back in the day? Did y'all watch I, I think the I Ice have, Age films? I have not seen anything past the first one, but even with the first one, I think I only saw half of it. So I, I, I never kept I up watched, with it. Mo, I, think mm. I watched like a first the first two or something. It reminded me of Land Before Time. Yeah, I I, I enjoyed I enjoyed Ice Age. I just there's so many different spinoffs um, that I just didn't I didn't keep up because at a certain point it's like oh like it's another spinoff I I lost track. But the first two Those I really enjoyed. Them. I thought were fun. Um, I think I might have saw the first one in the theaters. As a matter of fact, yeah, I did. Um, 
But yeah, uh, I mean, this looks spoiler alert. <laughs> Asteroids. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I saw that in the trailer. I was like, so does that mean the season ends after the second episode or what? Mm. <laughs> Spoiler alert. We'll bring them all back. <laughs> Jurassic Park style. I don't know. That never really caught my attention. Ice Age films never really uh, did anything for me. It's, it's I think it's why I only watched half of it in the, for mm. the first film. My, my general dislike for like straight to DVD, straight to movie spinoffs is that you could tell they're just kind of thrown together. Not well thought through. Like, did anyone mm. watch Little Mermaid 2 or Jif- the fucking Aladdin 6? Nobody watched those things. <laughs> if you had, like, I saw a, those movies. Yeah. If you had like a three year old at the time it came out and you just walked by, it, it was five dollars at Walmart, then you bought it. But nobody saw those things. Mm. I saw Little Mermaid too hot for the sea. If I don't know if you guys caught that, so uh, straight to internet release. <laughs> Ariel, no clamshells. Pornhub exclusive. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. I Kuya P. I apologize, uh, man. I'm, you know what? <laughs> I, if you y'all had children, y'all probably would have been a little bit more vested because really it's us that are choosing the movies that we want to watch with these kids. Right. So, you know what I'm saying? So uh, yeah. if I had a kid right now, if my daughter was into that, then okay. I have seen the previous films. I can see your point, Loy, that uh, there is differences when you see direct to DVD or direct to a streaming service or whatever, because the animation wasn't as clean as I've seen in the previous mm, projects. Yeah. Um, but you know, Hey, um, I don't have to like rush to see it because I'm, I have a teenager teenager now. So I don't think my child will be like in demand for that. But I, I know a lot of uh, friends that have kids that are into dinosaurs. And so this will be something that, hey, that will at least appease that id for something brand new. So, you know, hey, you, more power have you seen them. the have you seen all the other like spinoffs? I or? seen the, the it, well, it wasn't really spinoffs, Glenn. It was more so Ice Age, con, the one, two, three, Continental Drift. It was just a, it, it wasn't spun it was off. Like it was four of them, right? Within it itself. But mm. I've check, seen a couple check. of them. I, I've Check seen, I wouldn't, well, actually probably three or four of them. I think there was like five in total, five or six in total, but it was all mm. a feature that came to theaters. Um, they didn't do spinoffs. So this is actually, to Lloyd's point, the first one that they didn't go theater route. They put, they brought it straight to Disney Plus streaming service. Um, so I can tell the difference in animation a little bit. Uh, yeah. What's yeah. wild is this. Ice Age came out in 2002. So let's say your yeah. child was making Damn. memories five years old. Your kid is married by now. <laughs> you're, I was still you're in high school at that time. <laughs> so Jeez. it's a, a franchise that they That's obviously 20 years pays off for them. It's fucking crazy. And demand. Crazy. You know, when you develop a property, hey, man, it's beautiful. You know, I'm sure us as creators would love to have a property that they're going to keep on pushing. Where the studio just goes, done, give you know? us more. Like, we're running out of Those story dollars, lines, bro. Asteroids cam. Yeah, figure it out. Yeah. Figure it out. So there you go. Those are all the releases. Those are all the trailers um that we're checking out do you have a, a money one out of all of those that you uh are, are gonna definitely check out guys fellas clean, clean, clean for sure I'm, I'm, I'm clean all the way What's i'm brazen way? i like brazen I brazen, brazen looks okay. interesting. yeah oh, yeah, yeah. Check that out. i think having netflix makes it easy to to dial in uh Absolutely. i would say glenn and then uh actually the fallout that one with the very interesting artistic uh that'll be on hbo max so mm. uh thanks to you glenn i'll be checking that out um <laughs> Hey, man. You know, I probably will oh, the watch follow. the Alicia, Alicia Silverstone thing because I, I do enjoy. Um, oh, really? Her if it's on, I'd check it out a lot. I probably would check. I it would out, watch so. it, too. Yeah. If it I wouldn't on. go to the theater, but if it was just playing, I might, you know, give it a couple of, uh, you know, minutes. Check, a couple check. Wait, glances. Wait, wait that's mm-hmm. going to the movie theater. Uh, it, it, I, let me see. Let me see. Let me go yeah, back the, here. On was, my it list. The, was it a limited release for this movie? The limited release. Limited okay. release for that one. That's like so. Sharknado meets right? Castaway meets Clute. Nah, I'm good. <laughs> yeah. I'm all right. Who wants to go first? Uh, let, we all have our clips. If y'all are just now tuning into this show for the first time, we share clips uh, of <laughs> something that caught our eye and to make each other laugh real quick. So uh, whoever wants to go first. I'll, I'll start off. I'll start off mine. Um, all right, Loy. I, I, I like pet uh, animal videos. I like uh, fail videos. I like when you can combine pets and fails. Um, I'm a dark, dark sense of humor type of individual. Please run the tape, sir. All right. Here we go. Rings, please. Nope. That's, that's mine. It. Oh, shit. My bad. We're going to stop right there. That's a problem with the producer side Spoiler on here. Spoiler alert. Shit. Yeah. <laughs> All Is right, hold up. Let me get it backtrack, and I thought I had the right one up. Okay, the it's other a dog TikTok on there, video. right? It's TikTok. That is correct. 
Okay, here correct. we go. I got it keyed up. <laughs> My bad. All right, people. We are popping off. Here we go. Playing a game of whack fuck here. Whack. <gasps> what? Oh, <laughs> whack fuck? Are you okay? <laughs> One more time, for the top. Here. This time we're feeling. Whack. <laughs> Jesus <laughs> Christ, I okay? heard that knock. One more time. Playing a game of whack fuck <laughs> here. Whack. <laughs> what the fuck? Dude. I don't, I don't. In whack fuck? Oh, it's it's a sound. It's a different sound. It's it's a different sound that they put on top of it. But it's like you do something stupid and you get a stupid prize. Basically, the, the, the joke to that. But basically... I, you know, dogs are big things and you yeah. can't get in the way and they're going to jump. You're going to not want to be in this. It's a in good thing way, it was so. a 200 nah, pound. Trust, I, I know that. But I've never heard of the, 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 the that's actually an actual game called Whack Fuck. Yeah, Whack Fuck. Just do something stupid and get whacked for it and you're fucked. Oh, uh, OK. I it's, it's, awesome now. it's just kind of like, a, okay, you do something stupid. Gotcha. It and you get sense. a stupid prize. Yes. Hmm. No, All I right. No idea that you, you okay? I, I'm like, what? This is a, a game I've never heard of, and no, no, no. now I understand. It, it's it's not so much a game as much as like it's commentary over something you're watching. You're like, yeah. oh, I guess a game of whack fuck. Yeah, interesting. But I've never heard that as a term. Ter- gotcha. A, a term. I, I like to lead off with something obscure and something you know controversial, ah, but funny. I learned funny something to today, Loy. <laughs> you taught me something. It's like like you, know, you, you see you, you see somebody just go jaywalking, just running in the middle of traffic. Like, well, there goes a game of whack fuck, and just watch it play out. Is that a? <laughs> do you think that's a northeastern thing? Where no, did you first tick- hear that? It's a TikTok thing. It's a TikTok thing. Okay. Yeah. So it's a new terminology. I, I, yeah, it just seems to me, from what I've gathered, just seems to be commentary on something stupid that's going to yeah, end yeah, yeah. horribly. I, I'm I'm learning something new today, Loy, and I I've never heard it. it either. Right? Yeah. Like yeah, I've never heard of it myself. New to me. All right. Look at Lloyd teaching the world. All right. <laughs> Rob, what did you bring the, up? The, no, the more you know. Because I have no screen. kids. I'm just on TikTok. <laughs> that is my life. <laughs> uh, so my, uh, my, my little short clip here, it has to do with the weddings that we kind of got a little sneak preview of before uh, Lloyd's video. Um, I, I think it's funny because, you know, you see a lot of people plan for this stuff and they make it a big thing. And then one little uh, trip up can ruin that whole event if you if it if you are so uh, invested with it which i know a lot of people are so i'm one of those guys that laughs at this stuff um, not because i think i want bad things to happen to people it's just that's funny that it's i think it's hilarious i got maybe call me a sick individual but <laughs> i get a kick out of it so hope you guys enjoy it all right here we go rings please oh, oh god oh no oh, oh, oh my god oh my god oh, oh. Oh, oh my god. Are you okay? Oh my god. Yes. Super fair. <laughs> yeah, Let's see that one more time. Because so the best man fucked up the wedding. Oh god. No. no. Oh, oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. No. Oh my god. No. no that okay? can't. Oh that's god. it's on TikTok. That's got to be. But also the fact that it's recorded on what looks to be like a BlackBerry like before Yeah, the, yeah, the, yeah, the, yeah, wait, yeah. Can we see the video one more time? One more time? Okay, <laughs> one hold up. Hold more up. Time. That that was interesting. All right, here we go. One more time. Rings, please. Oh, oh god. No. no. Oh, oh my god. Oh my god. Know, it looks a little too real to me in my opinion. Oh my god. Are you okay? Oh my god. Well, you don't get married by the water. All right. You think it's fake? <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't know. It it's definitely real to me. God damn it. Pretty I think real it could, me. You know, I think it could have been real. I don't, it, it could. That could very well be. Well, I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> I enjoyed it. Thank you, Rob. Oh, yeah. You're so Lesson learned. Don't get married <laughs> by the water. That's all I got to say. No, I just. Wow. Wow. <laughs> all right. Interesting clip there. Thanks, Rob. <laughs> you know, I wow. think the debate. I actually let, let's look around the around the t- around the screen right now. Who thinks it's real? Hands up if you think, I don't it's think fake. it matters. It's it's real to me. I don't, I don't think I it think matters. It's okay, it's as real as it gets. Uh, I I'll say I, I don't know. I said it looked like it might be fake because it was on TikTok, but I it's, don't. I think it's fake. it's I don't it's know. not. It's 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 uh. What do you call it? You can tell it's fake because uh. Everyone's mic'd up right and the sounds right and like you're hearing is way too right. many people. Yeah, which is what 
Yeah. Unless the unless the microphone on the on the phone is really that good, which is not uncommon to come across these days. So. But the yeah. video is that bad. The video is shot in uh, portrait mode or uh, landscape and just the way that it unfolds at the exact right time. And he falls and, you know, it just <laughs> you, after watching Jackass and things like that. Yeah, yeah. Well, Andre, I mean, to me, it seems kind of elaborate for them to kind of do that sort of stuff to you know, yeah. get all dressed up and put the makeup on. And I, I don't know. How would you rent out that space for that length of time just to shoot for 15 seconds? It seems a little yeah. seems yeah, a little little too much for just my heart wants it to be real i think it's real (laughs) because i think people Uh, are real uh, the the first one comes back in 2008 the first version of that video is posted on youtube in 2008 Mm. okay so that's it is real i would say it's probably uh the wet wedding that wasn't real oh san diego time says in 2009 it is not real oh really Mm. Well, the time say it's not real, then it's got to be not real. All right. All right so well, uh, I guess we got. I guess, I guess we got confirmation then that it's not. And real. let us know in the comments if you if you actually participated or were at that wedding. Let us know <laughs> in the comments. <laughs> All right. Before we get to Glenn's clip, I'm gonna toss y'all out mine because I want to end off on uh, Glenn's uh, note uh, of music, as it were, Ooh, nice. from what it seems like. I don't know. I haven't seen your okay. clips then, but. Mm-hmm. Uh, so my clip, I when I was doing my little quick search to to do some to share something, uh, I saw something about North Carolina, and so this is dedicated to Rob Medina. Um, it's about I just got Rick rolled. Woman drove to North Carolina after being tricked by a viral TikTok video. Uh, it, it happened to a Florida woman, of course. A Florida woman made her family <laughs> drive to a city in North Carolina after she watched a viral video on TikTok showing gorgeous mountain ranges and aesthetic buildings. Uh, the video, which we're about to see, guys, uh, shows footage of him driving through a scenic, snowy mountain town, Gastonia, North Carolina. The on-screen text said as music played in the background. Uh, it already has over 5.8 million views. Uh, they got Rickrolled, uh, thinking they were going to see snowy mountains in North Carolina. But this is what they actually saw. Y'all ready? Yes. Gastonia. Right, here we go. Let's, see Rob. Let's see Rob's house. Gastonia, <laughs> North Carolina. <laughs> That's like Gastonia, so, uh, Europe. Gastonia, Florida, North Carolina. <laughs> oh, that's so fucking funny. There you go. It looks like it's in Switzerland. Gast- yeah, true. Wait, I think it's actually a place called Gastonia. Like a like, yeah, it's its own place in Europe. Wait, I'm confused. Wait, what happened? A so- Florida woman saw this post, that video, and was like, Gastonia, North Carolina. We can drive there. Yeah, they got there, and she was like, "This isn't what I saw in the video." She got rickrolled. I want to see the video of well, her being like, "What the?" That's what, what I in the to see. Yeah, yeah right. This? I would like to see the follow-up video. Yeah, I, I can uh, confirm reaction. it looks what nothing would make you like think that here. That was real, and get and get and in Gastonia, North Carolina. So, what does Gastonia, North Carolina, really look like? Tell it's us not why. like that. I can tell you that right now. I can, there, there are there is a King's Mountain here, but it's nothing like that. Uh, you do have a little bit of high points. That was you actually can, Switzerland, y'all. Yes, yeah, what I like, thought. It looks yeah, like Switzerland. The bitch didn't do her her research. her research. She just saw a TikTok video and was like, "I'm I'm gonna drive there. That's not too far." Yeah, yeah. that's 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 a common thing with a lot of people nowadays. They just look at headlines, they see an image like, "I want that," but they don't take the time to look into it. So she got what she deserved. Mm. I hope you like Gastonia because uh, I, I love it here, but it's, it's definitely not Switzerland. I can tell you. So that that's right, literally right where you live. And I, I literally live. Right as a matter of fact, the little hut right there, that's uh, that's my house. <laughs> <laughs> so there you go. That was dedicated to you, Rob. Thank you. All right. You're nice. welcome. All right, Rob. Uh, I mean, Glenn, tell us what okay. your video is all about, man. OK, so um, this is taking us to the Wayback Machine. I don't know if you've ever heard of this artist. His name is Thundercat. He did win a Grammy uh, back in, I think, 2020 um, for I think the song w- was on it. But I just came across this video, which I had. I think I heard the song, but I had never seen the video. And it's just like so like kind of low budget and kind of like like interesting you know um like anybody could shoot it just you know just it's what we're doing here you know what i mean you just make your own thing and then it goes out to the world people love it this thing has been viewed over 17 and a half million times so um i just thought it was interesting it's called dragon ball durag which is what caught my attention (laughs) let's do it dragon ball durag i feel kind of fly standing next to you putting lip gloss 
gasoline. Watering the lawn. <laughs> What was the shot at? Los Angeles. He's got like like all the chains. Brunson in it. Creator of Abbott Elementary, which is an amazing show. Wow. Is that how you approach women, Glenn? Yeah, so I may be covered in dog hair. But I honestly don't know what to think of this man. I'm impressed he's doing the moonwalk on grass. With a fresh ink on the leg. I love that she was in a Grammy winning video and she did nothing but just like sit there and eat grapes. <laughs> Run away. <laughs> this is in the valley. This is like this is like Van Eyes or somewhere. Who's that? That's where we is all want to know. Is, is that hair real? <laughs> is it ever? <laughs> I never resist you, you know, Lloyd? I don't know, but I'm paying more attention to the background than I am actually <laughs> watching the video. Do we finish it up? Yeah. Are we good? It's, it's, yeah. it's, uh, it's just a bit over. There's, uh, okay. There's like Glenn, one more girl that he goes like this. this game. <laughs> Is that the licorice girl? Licorice pizza girl? I don't know. I don't know. Looks like her. Yeah, you might be right. I think that is her. Yeah, that's her. All right. Oh, for the love of Christ. <laughs> there we go. I don't know why that caught my attention. I was just like, what is going on in yeah, this? I'm questioning your judgment here. No, I was joking. <laughs> I'm questioning a lot of things about you, Glenn. Hey man, so you know, I actually like the song. I actually did Not like a bad the song. song. Yeah, see, there we go. So I was, the video didn't really do it for me, to be completely honest. But I do like the song. And I will say, Glenn, I think I know why um, it came to mind for you. Why? Because let me show you this. I know you're watching Book of Bubba Fett too, right? Yeah. The guy that's in Bubba Fett is your guy. That guy is Thundercat. Yeah, that's right. Was uh, it episode, the latest episode? That's you, why. Okay. See? The android maker. Yeah. Yes, sir. Who made the improvements to Fennec Shan. So. Yeah. Okay. That's that's probably why it popped up. Okay. Now two and two are coming together. Nice. Dragon there we Ball go. Do rag. It's a nice song. Just, just thought I'd let you know. I, I appreciate I it, man. You're always on top. That's, you know. I try. That's, that's why you the man. It makes me, it makes me feel like anybody can make music and a music video. Like your music video has to be like the worst music video ever just to promote a song. Yeah. yeah. But that song was pretty dope. That was it was, was a helped. good song. It won a Grammy. So it was I like the song. Produced. It beat out Janae Iko and like um a bunch of other people. Um that's that crazy. Year. I concur. I like the song a lot. I think Dragon it's a good Ball Durag. I quit. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I think that 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 winds us out. I, I think Lloyd's blown like with all the work we do and something like that it, what, is what goes through. So I guess we need to go back and do our homework, Lloyd. Damn, yeah, Lloyd. I gotta go fucking make a something else. I, I, <laughs> apparently, comedy is not my thing. I could probably <laughs> do better at music. Mm -hmm. All right, so how can they reach out to you and everything you're doing, Loy, at Loyly Comedy? Uh, Loyly Comedy, just L O Y L E E Comedy. I did my headshots today, which. If anyone knows me, knows I hate doing headshots, so that was weird. But uh, I will have my uh, uh, website updated. My shop is coming. Uh, all of those things. Dope. When we get those new shots, look them up so I can do new promo stuff with you. Everybody else too. Yeah, buddy. Shots. So we get some new promos out there. 
All right, Rob Medina, Mr. Yosu Cool with Rob Medina. What's up with you? How can they reach out? So you all can follow me on my socials on Instagram, uh, Rob underscore Medina 0585, on Twitter, Rob Medina 0585, and on Facebook, simply just Rob Medina, and my show, social media accounts on Instagram, You're So Cool with Rob Medina, and on Twitter, You're So Cool WRM. There you go. And the Blur Dad, Glenn Lawrence, level us up. Hey, uh, levelupcomedy.com is where you can uh, check me out. Glenn Lawrence uh, laughs on um, on Instagram and Glenn levels up on Twitter. There you go. Oh, no, Glenn Lawrence comedy on Instagram. Hey, there you go. Glenn Lawrence comedy. Glenn levels up. Loyally comedy. Uh, Ramadio 0585. You're so cool. Ramadina, all that stuff. Follow the homies. Show my love for you, me. It's uh, the legend Kuyar P on Twitter, TikTok, and IG. And of course, here at the NRW and annual release Wednesday, where nerds rule the world. We are out of here, man. Until the next time. Love you guys. Bye. Boom. All right. Let's pound it, Patrick. Patrick. Kuya P with the pound. Pound cake, Patrick. I'm trying to make Kuya P laugh one time before we. And one, all right. Two, three.